Thunder and lightning, it's getting exciting. Sergei Lazarev has revealed his song. Misha, we've got to kick it off with you. You are Russian. What do you think? I love it. This song is uh, full of energy. Uh, it's uh, Sergei Lazarev style, but I don't care about who how me, uh, it may remind of something, but I, I just love it. At first I uh, didn't think anything about the song whenever uh, after first listen, but, but then uh, I was repeating it again and again, and I started to love it. It, it, is, it has some, I don't know, superhero vibe, it uh, has a great build-up. I love uh, especially the ending part, uh, when uh, he's putting his full uh, power and Singing it off, it's just great. Yeah, it's. I was always thinking that this has to be a good one. There are, they've got this whole dream team thing happening, and and his entry has to be a really good one. And it hasn't let me down. Um, I, f I think it's sort of just what the competition's needed. It's like a really serious contender. I don't think Russia's odds will go down. Um, maybe even Poland will be knocked off as the bookies' favourite. Um, it's just a really good quality song. I think this is tailor-made for Eurovision. It kind of brings in all the elements you want to hear in a Eurovision winner. It has a contemporary sound and production, and yet there's that flash of Schlager in the background, so this is gonna to appeal to old school Eurovision fans as well. It just straddles the line between East and West, old and new, and the video. They clearly had some kind of conference with SVT in Sweden, and were like, ooh, are you gonna have an LED floor? Are you gonna have LED walls? Can we do this, that, and the other? because this is already ready to go. He can just take the video, put it on stage, people will be like, whoa! You know, we can blame Mon Zelmerlo for this. People are really focusing on staging this year, Greta Salome, for instance, um, Sergei in Russia. This is gonna be very, very powerful. Just to talk about the visuals quickly, he's on fire at one point, like running through a firewall, he's in the ocean, he's standing on a solar orb. He is everywhere, and most importantly, he is in bed with no shirt. He has the look to win Eurovision and to contend for Eurovision's next top male model. Um, but I was going to say, the, the video, like that's projection mapping. It's the same technology that um, Mons used in Heroes, but it's just that much better. It's it's next level. They're basically going, Sweden, yeah, that was good, but we, we're really going to show you what you can do with the technology. So, yeah, if, if they can bring even just part of that look to, um, to Stockholm, it's going to be amazing. I like how it's slightly cheesy as well, the lyrics. I could have told you to slow down and stay down. That's a little dirty and I like it. This is just so memorable. The more you hear it, the more that earworm digs its way into your head. The first time I heard it, I've got to be honest, I liked it, but I didn't love it. But now that I've heard it two or three times, I kind of love it. it. It's still going through my head, and that's what you need at Eurovision. Again, they have geared this for ESC. And I think Russia, Russian acts often are much better live. For instance, the Tomachevi sisters, I didn't get that. When the video came out, I thought it was horrible. And then live, I was addicted. I wanted them to do well, and they did do well. I have really high expectations for Sergei. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say about the um, the Schlager sound. Um, it's something that a lot of people have commented that has been missing from Melfest this year, um, especially with the younger acts. You're not getting like it was Krista, but it wasn't hasn't really been anyone else. So I can really see this appealing to people who maybe in public they're too, they're too cool for Schlager, but they secretly love it and they'll, they'll vote for it. And I absolutely love that uh, line, thunder and lightning, it getting exciting. That's just, it describes everything. So the other lyrics might be a little bit cheesy, but give that cheese, I'll eat it. It's great. <laughs> Everyone likes cheese. <laughs> well, that's what we think. What do you think about You're the Only One? Is Sergei the one for you at Eurovision 2016? You can let us know here on Ubi Blogs. While we are here, don't forget to like our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye. Bye.